Welcome back to iGaming. Today we're going to be talking about Generation Zero's Dangerous Experiments update. We found out quite a little bit more from their dev stream. So, very excited to jump in and let you guys know what we found out today. If you are a fan of Generation Zero and you're looking forward to the Dangerous Experiments update, please drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and stick around for much more. So the Generation Zero stream gave away lots of details. We even got our first look at one of the new experimental weapons, the Magnus. And it is pretty damn cool. Alongside that, we got to hear a little bit more about the other two weapons. Uh, we don't know what their effects will be, but we do know it's the KVM-89 and the uh, Alice, uh, whatever it is, the hunting rifle. Um, so pretty damn cool. Very excited for that. And this is all coming on Monday. Now, before that, though, on Friday, we could potentially be seeing something else as well. Uh, whether that's going to be a letter from the devs or, or something along those lines is yet to be seen. But let's have a little bit of a look at the uh, the Pontus, which was shown off in the stream. Check this out. Here it comes. Yes, look what I equipped, everyone. Uh, looks pretty dope with the laser, right? I gotta say, I really, really like that feature. Yeah, alright, so anyone want to guess what it does? That recoil, yeah, I got a bit of a recoil, I gotta say. Uh, but anyone wanna guess what the kind of uh, uh, experimental feature is? My friend last played 800 days ago. Ah, oh, Jesus. Rapid fire, uh, it's not the experimental thing. 1% chance to EMP, it's not it. Armor piercing, well, kinda. It does a lot of damage, yeah, it can do. Homing bullets, nope. I think it shoots. Yes, Lucy, this of course right. It does shoot. Remote explosive. Uh, so explosive rounds. Well, almost. Uh, explosive bullet after impact. Yeah, we're getting close. We're getting close. Shrapnel bullets. All right. Dream machine. Uh, kinda got it. Kinda got it. Very, uh, very good guesses, everyone. I gotta say, very good guesses. Similar to the sniper. Yes. So what happens is. When you shoot the target, like a machine or even a, a, a tree or, or you know a fence or, or whatever, uh, it will over penetrate the target. Uh, the bullet will explode and kind of give a shotgun uh, exploding effect uh, behind the target. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean, kinda? That's exactly what it is. Shut up, Corny. Stop. Um, so yeah, similar to the sniper over penetrate, shrapnel behind that. Um, it looks pretty darn cool, I can tell you. So, the Magnus, or the Pontus as I like to call it, is pretty damn cool. But alongside that we are going to be seeing a brand new weapon pack. This one will be a paid weapon pack, whereas the rest of the update is for free. So we're just going to talk about the paid bit first. It is the Eastern European weapons pack. And it has three new weapons, a handgun, an LMG, and an SMG. And that'll be the same price point as the rest of the weapon pack. So around about three, four pound. Very, very cool. Very exciting. Now, alongside the experimental weapons, what we will be seeing is major performance improvements. Alongside memory, FPS, and less loading. So pretty damn cool. It's been a while since we've had performance updates. And there's also loads and loads of bug fixes. And then with those, we're going to be seeing control point revamps, which, yeah, some people will be interested in that, others not so much. But <clears throat> something that I'm very, very excited for is the schematics tree. Now, obviously, we get clothing and schematics, and there is an absolute metric ton of them. So uh, the way that we currently get them is through machines. Uh, we, you can find sort of level one and two dotted around the world, um, but the higher ones, you'll have to actually go out, get machines, and you're never 100% sure on what you're going to get. So if you are looking for one specific one, it's going to take you a hell of a long time, because I, I'm pretty, there's way over 100, I'm sure of it. Um, but now you'll be able to unlock those through challenges and th with points. How that's going to work is yet to be seen. They've not really said much more on it, but I'm quite looking forward to seeing the schematic tree and obviously having some things unlocked via challenges is brilliant hopefully they're taking on board some of the bits that i have said before about not everything has to be farmed through machines you know it'd be nice to have challenges to unlock things that way and it does look like we're going to start seeing a little bit more of that 
Alongside that, we're going to be seeing major crafting improvements and new recipes, which is quite cool. They haven't said what these recipes are going to be, but it, they did say it's going to be previously locked stuff. So we could be seeing um, the adrenaline shots. We could see some other random bits and we could see maybe even um, weapon pack ammunition. So DLC ammo. That could be quite cool, but we'll see. We'll see. There's also going to be a bunch of UI improvements. And, of course, we've spoke about it already. Something that I am a very big fan of. New collectibles. Now, if you didn't already know, we have covered this bit in a, a past video. But the new collectibles are quite cool. And they're basically little mini figurines of machines. Which look very awesome. Um, I have done a previous video on it. I'll put that in the description down below. And also... The North Coast will be seeing a finished off revamp. They've done it slightly already, but they're going to finally finish it off for this update. Now, there's also a big secret, which they're not giving away. Hopefully, we find out a little bit more on Friday. Somebody has said, could they not do like an advent calendar type thing? And they've said that on Friday, we shall see something. What that will be, don't know. It might actually be a dev letter. I hope so, because it's been a bloody long time since we've had one. Also, they are currently in the works of testing a Christmas event. We haven't had a Christmas event for quite a while, but it's in test at the moment. So hopefully, we'll see that with Monday's update. Failing that, we will probably see it a little bit later down the line if it doesn't actually pass certification. But we'll see, we'll see. Either way, I'm happy. It'll be nice to actually get a Christmas update. It's been a while since we've had one of those. I think the last one, there wasn't one last year or the year before, so maybe 2019 was the last one. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head, I think 2019 was the last one. Anyway, we are going to wrap that up there. And sorry I've been a little bit quieter than usual. Um, I am very, very ill at the moment, but power through and all that shit. Thank you everybody for watching, hopefully you've all enjoyed. If you have, please drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and stick around for much more generations. I've been wide, you've been awesome, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.